coming in. Thanks for attending the um, third in our series of Farms of the Future breakfast webinar series. Uh, this, this event will be focusing on uh, suppliers and, and technology. And in lieu of the fact of having face-to-face uh, -face field days and running a little trade show session, we're going to have um, three panel sessions with uh, nine suppliers. So I'd like to introduce um, Daniel Ryder from, from Movement. Movement provided uh, cattle GPS tracking. Uh, so little tiny um, solar powered GPS ear tags, which work on a um, proprietary LoRa network, uh, which we had at our Canamble site. So um, over to you. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you very much, Scott. If we can go to my first slide, please. Thanks. Okay, I'll, uh, sorry, Scott, the one, yeah, that one. Okay, I'll start with a quick overview of our company. Movement started in 2017 within Rabobank when four employees won an internal innovation program. Um, after that, the development of our tax took a few years and many mistakes, but we are now a fully commercial company since the beginning of 2020. And we have a commercial GPS ear tag that is single prong, weights under 30 grams is reusable and lasts for five years. We now have our main office in Brisbane CBD and we have another office in the Netherlands and we have customers in over nine countries, but our main focus, our main countries of focus are Australia and South Africa at the moment. I would say our our main point of difference is that we offer not only hardware, so the tags and the LoRa antennas, but we also offer the software side to access the information sent by the tags. And it can be accessed by any iOS or Android device that is connected to the internet. Um, we made the installation process of the antennas I would say easy enough so our clients can install, can install our antennas themselves if they want to. However, we also partner with an installer in case the producer need a hand with installation to make it easier for them. Uh, this installation partner and ourselves offer full customer support. Now to our tags, our tag, on our tags, you can record important information about the tagged animal like the NLIS or the visual ID number, the type of the animal, this being a bull, a cow, a steer and so forth, the age, breed and the paddock the animal is assigned to. If the animal for any reason leaves the, if the, leaves the farm or the paddock it is assigned to, a notification will be displayed on the app. Our tags, our tags do send a new location every hour through radio frequency to our lower antennas and then to the cloud and to the producer's mobile device. So as, as long as the producer has access to the internet and has his mobile device with him, he can monitor his cattle regardless where he is, even if he is, um, if he is overseas. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so I guess uh, the main challenge and learning from this pilot is that the location of the antenna is key for our tags to perform. Because the system works in line of sight, it is very important that we place the antenna at a strategic point where it can see the whole farm or at least the area of interest or where our tags are gonna be. Usually the best spot for the antenna would be a high point and centrally located on the property, although that's not always the case, but we can work on that. We offer uh, free radio maps to see um, where the best location is to place a single antenna or if it's a bigger farm, if we need to place uh, multiple antennas on it. Um, so in this pilot, we had some tags that although they sent our tags and a message every hour, not every message was received by the antenna. So when the tag, when when a tag, when an animal is in a black spot, or so to say, meaning a location where the antenna cannot see the tag, that single message is lost. But once the, the animal comes back into the reach of the antenna, 
the new messages are received and new locations of the animals are displayed on our app. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, now our, our roadmap. Um, before, before the end of this year, we are, we are introducing the web portal. On this portal, producers will not only be able to track the animals in real time, but to trace back as well in time, allowing them to plot grazing patterns like the image on that slide. That's on the farm we were tagging. Uh, grazing patterns can give them a better understanding of how efficiently their animals are grazing and make the and make the producer and the produ and give allow the producer to make changes to the paddock sizes if necessary so the animals can graze more efficiently. Another feature will be to trace back a single animal's movement for for let's say the last 24 hours or let's say a week to see how much they are walking each day. Um, I guess this is a, a especially good feature for bulls, for example, to check how much each of them is walking compared to each other and to see if they are actually chasing cows doing their work or if they are just being lazy. Uh, so the portal will allow to plot graphs and compare how much each bull walks every day, is walking every day. And lastly, we are also working on adding accelerom accelerometers to our task. With the accelerometer, our system will be able to detect certain events like cattle running away from wild dogs, calving events, mating events, and so on. But we are expecting the accelerometer on our task to be available on, I would say, second semester 2021. Um, so yes, that's the time frame we are working on. Um, working on this project was uh, because when we started tagging on this farm was on very, a very uh, very early stage. I would say it was a very good learning experience, and obviously we are very thankful for the opportunity. Opportunity. So thank you very much, Scott. And back to you. Thanks, Daniel. 